Hi, welcome to the Cornerstone, uh, my chance to share scripture with you, scripture that God has laid on my heart and encourage you to hold on to it, believe it, confess it, stand on it and, and encourage you that you will see the scriptures manifest in your life. The word of God will always bear fruit. Now, these are very interesting times. There's so much uncertainty, um, quite a lot of fear. Uh, for some people, there is anxiety and worry. And you can understand why in these times, these circumstances, especially with this second wave of this uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic. But then I want to bring an encouraging word to you. It's actually a benediction that Paul says at the end of his letters to the church in Thessalonica. And I pray that you will receive this word. I, I pray that it will bear fruit in your life. It's taken from uh, 2 Thessalonians, the third chapter and the 16th verse. And the Bible says, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you all. And so I want to speak that word over your life that the Lord of peace himself will give you peace in every way and that God is with you. And so, Heavenly Father, let the truth of your word, Father, be brought to the fore of your daughter or your son's mind. As the God of peace, Father, I ask that you will step into her life, into his life, in every way, Father, on every side, O oh God, bring your peace, Heavenly Father. If there are any storms, may the storms be quelled in the name of Jesus Christ. So why don't you just believe that scripture, that you have received it and that it will bear fruit. And so why don't you then thank, thank God for it? Will you just, with me, uh, make a declaration that is really thanking God for that scripture? Say with me, Heavenly Father. I thank you for your word. I receive this word that you have sent to me. I receive your peace into every area of my life. I command every storm to cease in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for being with me always. I know, Father, that I will pass through this, this, these storms, pass through this season and come out on the other side, Heavenly Father, victorious. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. The Lord of peace be with you always, give you his peace always, and may God continue to be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.